Patch 1.2, speaking of Cyberpunk, was released uh, as well this week, and uh, or this past week, and was the longest, and I, I cannot stress this enough. If you look up the list right now on your computer, Mr. Black. Oh, I've seen it. J- the, this is bar none. And I mean, I've seen No Man's Sky patch notes, which, which are already long. These patch notes have got to be the longest patch notes I've ever seen in my life. I've oh, never... Uh, now, in fairness, and this isn't to, this isn't to, to, to you know, uh, downplay the work of the devs here, because obviously this is a large patch. But so much of that incredibly long patch note list just seems like PR fluff, because a lot of the stuff that's in that list, fucking who cares? Yeah. No, means absolutely nothing to anyone. Nope. They're not bug fixes. They're barely even like, uh, they're, they're barely even noticeable visually or otherwise. Uh, yeah, and then it's, all it's, of the, all of the, all of the really hardcore shit that people were waiting for like this patch to come in and fix, not really nothing. hitting on much of that. No, dude, the patch notes were more like when you boot up the game, you'll notice that cyberpunk, the, uh, the C <laughs> it was off by just like three or four pixels, three or four pixels. <laughs> we fixed that. All right. Now, when you log into the game, you'll notice the second cutscene where someone says, who the fuck are you? They, we've, we've, we fixed that. And now it says, who the fuck are you punk bitch? <laughs> right. These are the type, these are, that I, was I, pretty I, much what the patch notes were kind of like, yeah. Yeah. It, it, I mean, there were some like legitimate, of course, you know, yes. things like, I mean, but the list is so long guys. I mean, if you haven't seen this list is not even, you know, it, I know what they're trying to do. They're trying to go, Hey, Guys, look at what we're, we're work- doing. We're working so fucking hard to the point where it when you when you scroll down the page as fast as you can, it takes you 20 seconds. All right. <laughs> I, I'm not joking. Yeah. I dude, had dude, I had Mark. Books. Did you see the I, video I had Mark do? No, I didn't. Okay. I as soon as I saw the patch, not to interrupt you, but as soon as I saw the patch notes list, you know what I said to Mark? He was still at work. Maybe. I said, Mark, I need you to copy this entire patch note list. And turn it into a Star Wars opening crawl. Oh my god! And so dude, he that, did. That needs to be on your YouTube, man. It That's is. Just... Oh shit! It's on Critical Hits YouTube. And you know what the funny thing is? He couldn't get all the patch notes into it because he ran out of RAM. Oh my god! Yeah, it's that bad. <laughs> it's it's they were going they were going for guys. Look at how much work we're doing. Like this, is how committed we are. It came off as. Uh, you guys are fucking pathetic. Why in the hell would you ever release this game seeing this patch this patch list? Are you insane? Like, you're actually insane. <laughs> if it was that big, you should have just kept it to the main stuff and fixed all that shit without telling anybody you fixed all that shit. Yes. And you know what? You know what I also thought about when I when I saw that patch, uh, that patch notes list, right? Like, it's mm-hmm. so much stuff. So on mm-hmm. one hand, they're like, look at how much work we've done. Look at all the good we've done. And then the mm-hmm. other hand, I'm thinking of the, of the back of my mind. Like, what was it, two months ago? January, maybe, even? When the CEO came out to do his, like, little public apology. Like, And I say that loosely, because it wasn't really much of an apology. He threw, like, the QA team under the bus. Yep. And said, none of this stuff really showed up in our testing. And then you put out this fucking monolithic Encyclopedia, uh, Encyclopedia Britannica list. The yep. unabridged fucking version of this mm-hmm. 1.2 patch notes, and you're going to tell me that your testing team didn't catch any of this shit that you found so important to put it on this fucking monolithic piece of human writing? No! I wonder how many words that is. It's got to be, it's got to, it's got to be like a 20,000 word Bro, patch note. I, my other tweet, I said, look, if CD Project Red can get it together enough to write this fucking 1.2 patch notes list. George R. R. Martin can finish Game of Thrones. Serious, it, dude, that's a joke, but it's like kind of but true. But it's kind of true. It's like kind of, <laughs> like that's how seriously long this list is. It's embarrassing. Yeah, yes. It's embarrassing. It's like, it's like a, it's like a, it's something that I envision that they, they get all these notes when they first play the game. Like when they're like, okay, all right, we, we got the shell. Now let's go in there 
and see what's wrong with this thing. And that's the list. <laughs> but instead, this is like a game that's gone, what, platinum? A game Bro. that went gold before it was out. And it's the biggest hype game ever, and it's a fuck show. Dude. It's, uh, it's bad, bro. It's D bad. Dude, they... Okay, so to talk about the sales part, I didn't have it written down, but you just reminded me. I wanted to put this in for the podcast. So what also came out this week were the sales projections uh, for this quarter, 2021. Uh, and it was tracking various high-profile games, of course. This is a, an analytics company that does this stuff all the time. So the uh, tracking various high-profile games... In terms of like their sales drop offs, which is a normal thing to track, right? You know, how much do you get on day one, two, et cetera, et cetera. What is your uh, adoption rate over time to, to kind of gauge your performance, which is also used for things like marketing and whatnot to see, you know, how, how, uh, how uh, useful or, or how successful your marketing campaigns can be at post launch, et cetera. So, Cyberpunk was put up against like a, like the last Assassin's Creed game, which I think came out even before Cyberpunk, and then I can't remember what the other game was off the top of my head. Um, but they compared a couple uh, of them, and Cyberpunk dropped off the face of the fucking earth. Like it yep. was like day one, first week or two, and then it just like fucking into the ocean at Mach four, and never recovered to the point where its sales are like less than one percent. For this quarter. Oof. So they're projecting 500,000 copies for the quarter for Cyberpunk 2077 versus the the insane astronomical pre-order and first day purchases that the game had. The other problem we have is, is that we still don't know what the number of refunds are. No company, no analytics company, no nothing has any idea how many of the original copies were refunded when they eventually did allow refunds to happen. The other problem was is that most of those we talked about in the podcast were so convoluted to get a refund that we don't even know how many people actually went through the process of doing the refund and are just sitting on the game waiting for it to be fixed to play. But to them, yeah. they can still say Cyberpunk sold X number of games, but nobody's if, if nobody's playing it, what the fuck does that even mean? And especially since the majority of, of positive interactions are only for the PC version. Because at least on the PC, you can make up for a lot of the shortcomings by just throwing a shitload of hardware at it. Whereas on the consoles, fuck! I mean, we yeah. all see what it looked like on that. So, yeah, Cyberpunk's still in a very weird spot. Um, it's a very uh, awkward situation. And still to this day, um, they are not back on the PlayStation Store. They're still not on it. So if you're buying Cyberpunk right now, essentially you're either getting a hard copy somewhere, or you're buying it on Steam. Yeah, just don't buy it, actually. Yeah, just, yeah, uh, yeah, just wait. Just don't buy it. Just wait. By the time it's actually worth playing, it will be so heavily discounted that it, it's just, yep. then it's an easy purchase. Yeah.